Divine feminine, you worrying about the gossip, huh? You worrying, you worrying about what people gonna think, huh? About this young person that's in your life. This young new friend. This young honest young man. This sincere young man. This marriage material. Mm -hmm. But you're keeping it a secret. This is a good omen for you, Divine Feminine. Okay? I feel like you're worrying, and this is a challenge that people are going to talk about you, about this secret that you got, that you're dealing with somebody younger than you. Okay? This person wants to capture you. This person wants to be confined to you. You have the courage to dream, okay? Thoughts and imagination and sweet dreams. A good omen for business plans and personal resolutions is in this person. He's younger than you. He's an, it's a new friendship. But you're worried about what people are going to say. Your divine feminine, there you go. Sudden wealth. You're sitting here not saying nothing. You're being quiet. Now, this cage out here, it usually means you're feeling trapped or stuck. But I feel that this, this young person wants to trap you, wants to be stuck with you, okay? Or wants to take you out of a trapped and stuck situation. That cage is open, so this person may be opening the cage for you to be released. He may, be, he may have the key to unlock you from a situation, okay? I don't know who this young energy is, okay? He's a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Little the baby. He's a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. You could get some sudden wealth. Secretly, you may have some sudden wealth out here, Divine Feminine, or this, this little um, youngster that you got that's wanting to be with you, that's looking at you as marriage material. Little baby, you got to go. You can't be walking all up on my cards. Okay. And you're worried. What is Divine Feminine worried about? We know you don't, you don't, it's like you don't want to be anchored down. Tell me more, spirit. You're not rising above this. Do you, do you feel like this person is flighty? They're not flighty. They're honest. They're sincere. And this person is going to, their marriage material for you, but you feel like they're too young for you. Person may be 10 years younger than you. Apology in reverse. 
or somebody could be apologizing to you and you're not you're not accepting it you're not talking to them you got money too divine feminine you think this young person is trying to use you or want you for your money cougar you think he looks at you as a cougar this is somebody's ex <laughs> <laughs> y'all motherfuckers is looking right at each other divine feminine now for some of you you have a new intimate re new intimate relationship a new intimate friendship right this person with this new friendship is is they're sincere they're you know, they're committed, they're honest, they're younger than you, okay? They're full of love. Where you have your ex out here, that's mad. It's, oh, so you're not, you're not saying nothing because you're, they're younger than your ex and your ex gonna talk shit. Yeah, that's, that's what it, that's what it is. You worried that your ex is, is talk gonna talk shit. Okay. Look at y'all. This is funny. I see Divine Feminine. This is you. This is your ex. See how you both facing each other? This means you're not talking, but you're looking right at each other. Are you that mad? Are you that mad? Now I know he's mad. When he ain't when he ain't saying nothing, he mad. She ain't saying nothing, but he apologized to you and you're not accepting his apology. And he mad that you're not accepting his apology, but you mad about something else he did. Some secrets. Both of y'all sitting here mad at each other. Not speaking. But looking right at each other. He may be mad because you got some sudden wealth and you're not sharing it with him. He may be mad because you're not accepting his apology. He may be mad because you got some divorce papers or something, some documents to divorce him. He may be mad because this young person is trying to get you out of this trap. He may be mad because... He, well, I'm not going to say he ain't. He may be. He's mad because he can't anchor you down. No more. He's mad because he got to keep some sort of secrets of, of, the, of the nasty thoughts that he has about you. And those are the thoughts. He's mad. Okay. You, on the other hand, Divine Feminine, you looking at him and his fake ass apology. And he mad because he know his apology is fake and that you know that his apology is fake and he's mad. You mad, you're mad at him at the fact that he tried to stop you, try to keep you from moving forward. He even stopped you from taking a trip some sort of way. He trying to stop you, he, he stopped you from moving forward. But see, now you got somebody, a new friend that's younger than this masculine, that's getting you out of this trap feeling. <coughs> Damn, Divine Feminine, your masculine, your ex-masculine is saying um, he's a karmic. He's, he's like making jokes, saying the person you're dealing with is so young, they can be your son. Young is your son, some shit like that. Yeah, but he mad. So tell me about this honest young energy. 
Your masculine's still in here. He ain't gonna change. <coughs> <coughs> your karmic masculine. It's your ex. It's your karmic masculine, okay? <coughs> you have this new person. They may be from another city or another state or another country. Why your karmic masculine is having negative thoughts because you're divorcing his ass. Mm-hmm. Yep. Give me more spirit. wish coming true again right on top this person your ex was trying to keep you from moving trying to keep you but what you need to do I'm gonna I'm gonna flip these upside right right side up and divine feminine you're gonna continue moving forward divine feminine you're gonna move on to clearer skies okay all right divine feminine you're gonna hurdle over these motherfucking obstacles. All right, Divine Feminine? Yes, you are. And you're going to take that trip. Okay? You're going to take that trip. You're going to float above this drama. Okay? This person is trying to stop you. Don't allow that. If you planned a trip or you had a trip and they manipulated some sort of way to, to stop the trip, well, really, really, he just came and laid his little ass right here on top of the car. Look. And then start cleaning himself. You got to go, baby. You got to go. You got to go. So yeah, this person try to, they trying to stop you from moving. They uh, either, they didn't apologize to you for what they did or they're apologizing. You're not accepting it. All right. And you have a young person, a new young friend that's interested in you, Divine Feminine. Maybe you work with this person. They could be your wish come true or you can have some sort of inheritance. Something may have not changed and, and, and you're still going to get an inheritance if somebody tried to take an inheritance for you. If somebody tried to stop you from moving towards an inheritance or something that's meant for you, it could be a spiritual inheritance. It can be a monetary inheritance. Um, that's both still spiritual or monetary. But a natural inheritance, money, that's still the same thing. Okay, some sort of inheritance. I can't I can't explain the big words. I ain't no goddamn professor. Okay. So. Tell me more spirit. A choice to be made. This is a choice. Now, you have a good choice. Both of these doors are good. One of the lights from the door is gold, and the other light that's coming through the door is blue. Like, blue skies, sunny skies, in both decisions. This is a tough decision that someone has to make. Tough. I'll look at my ashy elbows because... I'm on this table all day, so I'm like, shit. And then if I put oil 
you know, oil my arms and, and lotion and all of that. It just be making me slide and then putting oil stains all on the, the cards and the table and all that shit. So, yeah, my elbow's ash. Anyway, you have a, a, a two good choices right here. Now, this, this, this could be the choice to this person, little baby, come on now, this could be the choice to make a leap, to take a leap of faith, because you only live your life once, unfortunately, and there's no rehearsal, okay, this could be a choice to have happiness, okay, with this young man that's honest, sincere, and committed. A new friendship with someone who's marriage material. You have to have the courage to dream, Divine Feminine. Thoughts, imaginations, and sweet dreams. This person is sweet on you. This person wants a family with you also. where you have your ex here not wanting to apologize. And this this honest, sincere man, you will be his main one. Okay? Now, when you was with the, the ex, you probably was going through chaos and conflict, third-party situations. If you look at this card and see them two women down there, you see you up in the little temple thing, whatever, by yourself. The gazoo got, I can't, gazebo by yourself. See that triangle down there? That's your person and two other females. Where you have somebody that's in your life or coming in your life, a new friend, an intimate new friend that won't have you in nothing like that, okay? They're going to want marriage with you. Just what I said, marriage material. Where your ex is immature. You can't tell him shit. Um, he done been there and done that. He may be a little older than you. Oh, okay. That's why this person is going to say he's old enough. The new person you're dealing with is old enough to be your be his son. Yeah, because his motherfucking ass is old. He older than you. So, yeah, this is is he he'll joke about that. But see, he's actually intimidated. Cuz he know this young person going to put it down on you. <laughs> oh shit. Yep. No gift. Little baby, you got to you got to go now. You done been seen. Immature. See, even though this karmic ex is immature, I mean, um, he's acting immature. He may be older than you. And the person you're dealing with is younger than you, so you know he's younger than him. And that intimidates him. See, your person, your ex, your karmic ex, he thought it was the thing to be a player that made him look younger or feel young. But you got somebody younger that wants you. So he mad. Mm -hmm. Ooh, divine feminine. Okay. Yep. They took a bad risk with you. Mm-hmm. And you just sitting there looking at him. Y'all looking. He looking at you. He mad. But he can't say nothing. Mm-hmm. We getting the Ace of, Ace of uh, Wands. Tell me more about this.
be careful out there divine feminine there could be some sort of um unexpected loss or this is this person has elevated risks of accidents elevated risk of ha of accidents okay um fortune wants to play this person may lose money little baby look you you i'm gonna have to put you out of my room you slide get get you stay there you come and slide my cards out the way and i i he too little to so I have to keep him in my room because this house is too big and he goes and hides places where I can't find his little butt. This is a big old four bedroom house with a big ass garage and he goes and, and I'm moving right now. So it's a lot of stuff out there. He's just in here just running a muke around me if that's the right word. Is that what you're doing little baby? Yeah, so, so your masculine energy, your ex, he's mad because you have somebody in your life. But also, this person, um, they they took a bad risk or a gamble. And they're running around gossiping. They talking about you right fucking now. Talking about you and this young, t this young kid. I ain't gonna say kid, this youngster. Okay, this, uh... This, this page of cups. And your person, he could be a Virgo. He's jealous. But there is a, uh, um, if this, is this you, Divine Feminine? Feminine? There's a, somebody out there, he, he could be slandering your name. He could be, uh, you know, causing chaos and conflict around you, talking about you to other people, having people poison you, poison, you know, poisoning relationships with other people. Because all because he's jealous. He's gossiping right now. And he's he's in a feminine energy in this this he's in a bitch mode. Yep. He's in bitch mode. Because he's intimidated. And he see a wedding with you and this person is out here twice. He mad. Maybe you didn't got married to this person. Okay? You went through a transformation from dealing with old folks and got you a new a young goat. Okay, the greatest of all time. Having a happy life. Got the ace of cups. Mm-hmm. And you ended the shit with him and he's sitting here and he mad. Look at look at his little spoiled butt. And you're independent, you think for yourself, you act on your own and you stopped listening to others. Yeah, that's why he mad. Because they was, you know, trying to make you feel like that you dating somebody younger, that you you too old to be with this person or whatever. Shit, I I wouldn't date nobody. I I've dated somebody younger, younger than me before, but um, hell, they if they old enough to buy cigarettes, liquor, they old enough to gamble, they old enough to do everything, damn thing else. When it's a younger, um, uh, a older man and a younger woman, shit. They think it's cool. But shit, the majority of the time, the older men, they get with a younger woman to, to tame her. Right? They like them young because they don't have to pay a lot of money for the young ones. They don't want an older one. Where the difference is with a young man, with the older woman, 
he's more mature. So it's like the age shit is all fucked up backwards. These old men is one to be young and not want to pay no bills and shit because they deal with young females. That's it is what it is. They get older and they start picking up these young ones. Most things they gotta pay for them is it's like getting their hair done, getting their nails done, buying them some weed or buying them some drink. Unless they get rid of real one who want them to put them through school or some shit. But um these young these young the, the, the younger ones, they know that an older woman is responsible. So when they get with this younger, this older one, you just you just you just doing too much, little baby. It's my little baby. But um yeah, so that's what that is. And you're young, you're I don't know if you're younger, but the person you're dealing with divine feminine, they are younger than you. And they're independent and they think for themselves and they act on their own and they don't listen to others either. If 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 you were somebody younger, whose business is it? Is they gonna be fucking you? Is they living in the house with you? Is they paying your bills? Why are they so into your life telling you how to run it? And probably most of the motherfuckers, they, they either got some old tired ass motherfucker that they don't want, so they don't want you to be happy. Don't you be sitting around here listening to these motherfuckers? And this change will be pleasant. Okay? You won't be forced to leave your comfort zone. You can still be who the fuck you are. Okay? And this is a journey which you will gain riches and wealth. Okay? Because your youngster, your youngster, he may be young, but he's a king of pentacles. God damn it. And um, we don't see little baby. You can't sit. He didn't went to sleep. <laughs> you gotta get up. Mm, you gotta get up, little baby. Come on. There you go. I gotta shuffle. <laughs> there you go, little baby. That is my. I spoil this little one. His two brothers died. Um. They didn't survive. And he he went through it. I had to, I can't afford them vet bills and all of that stuff. I had to nurse him back to health. I spent a lot of money nursing him back to health. And he thanks me every day. He sleeps by my pillow. He was so close to death. So close to death. And I saved him. I, I, I got online and I went to a, a not a, 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 I didn't go to nothing like PetSmart, Petco or none of that shit. I went to a, uh, a pet store that that's the real that's the real owner of the pet store and knew what to tell me what to do how to nurse this kitten back to health and that's why he's so spoiled laying up in my lap playing and shit cause he happy he couldn't walk he couldn't you know he was just he would just lay around he was very lethargic cause he's a bandit his mom is outside and I was letting her outside and she was bringing fleas on she, when they would nurse her she got fleas on them and the fleas the fleas over overwhelmed the other cats um, and they killed them and I gave them the bath and everything after I found out that she had gave them all the fleas but it made them anemic and they end up you know passing away and he survived so this is why he is so spoiled because I saved his little life did. Huh. I named him Lightbulb, but I call him my little baby and he has his own, all of my cats have their own little personal songs that I sing to get them to come. Okay, so your, your, your ex, Divine Feminine, this person is ruthless. Um, Shrewd with money. Oh no, 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 no. Yeah, your ex is ruthless. 
But this young person, like he's in a king energy, even though he's younger than you, he carries the status of a king. He was a natural born fucking leader. Entrepreneur type energy, divine feminine, that has a vision. He's a devoted father, husband energy. Mm -hmm. This one is the one who is shrewd with money, but he's not selfish. Okay, so this means he's he he's not selfish. He'll help people out, but he's not just gonna go out there and blow money. He's not just gonna he's not just spending where this ex of yours was doing that. Okay. Very impulsive, ruthless, had high expectations. This motherfucker right here. Okay. Little baby, look. And again, I can't put him out because this house too big and he goes and hides places and, and it takes him. The other day, I thought he had some, went somewhere and died because I put a new coconut oil on him and, and I didn't see him after that. And I was up in here. My dog just died a few days ago and this was right before she died. I couldn't find him. I was up in here crying over my animals like, Lord, what's, what's happening to my animals? Please bring my baby back. Let him back. And then I got up and went in the kitchen and he was in there sitting in the floor licking himself. So he had had him a good nap and the, found something. Something he had ate, but he good. So excuse him, that's light bulb. Um, put a comment about light bulb. I'm, I'm sorry, I can't put him out, y'all. I'm sorry. Okay, so tell me more for Divine Feminine concerning this new bow that's sincere. More hearts coming out. <laughs> oh, your enemy, your 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 uh karmic masculine. Um because you aimlessly walked away from him, right? And aimlessly um you walked into this young, honest, new intimate friend that you got here, okay? At one time, you was drifting back and forth with your masculine, your karmic masculine. One time, you was drifting back and forth. Now, if I show you the part, the, the picture, <laughs> let me tell you, this deck that I'm reading from, it's a, it's a kid's card game, Okay? And the little characters, it's, it's actual cards, but the, the, the person don't, maybe some of you, uh, <laughs> I don't want to call your little, your new little youngster a troll, but the, on this card, he's representing a little troll. Okay. And, and, and he's the, he's the, the page of, of hearts, the page of cups, a youngster. Okay. <laughs> but he's sincere marriage material he's committed, he's honest he's younger than you now this ain't for everybody, he ain't going everybody's little little youngster don't look like a troll, but somebody may call him a little troll, they, nest, they may be little, okay <laughs> but like I said, these this is the, the name of the cards, babies okay it's the trolls. Okay. Spirit made me, I, I seen these cards and I was like, I wonder if I can make these into tarot cards. You know, read them like tarot. Y'all put in the comments, how is this, how am I doing reading these cards? Is it resonating with somebody? Have you met somebody young, divine feminine? Is your ex mad? Because if you haven't married this youngster, you're thinking about it. But your, your, your ex was saying um, like little negative comments because he younger than him. His stroke is probably a little better than, is a lot better than him. His money. But also all he can throw up to you is that he younger than you. He can't say nothing else. He can't say nothing else bad. Mm -mm. He can't say nothing your ex can't say nothing. This karmic clown can't say nothing 
bad about this person except that they're younger than you. That's it. And he's dangerous. He's a dangerous rival in love with you. An enemy is waiting around the corner. So you you tell your, your person or you don't want to put fear in your person and make them run away from you because of this idiot, but you just, you know, suggest little things to not go certain places. Uh, change his mind to do certain things that if you know that this crazy ex is somewhere around. Okay. See, your ex is mad and can't say nothing because this person is a natural born leader. He's a good businessman, even though he's young. He's the entrepreneur type. So if he's younger than you and he's doing all of this with his life and he's positive in your life and want to bring you up and encourage you, then divine feminine, I say go for it, girl. Good sex, good loving. Age ain't nothing but a number. Let a young one come to me. Shit. And if, they, if they're mature and they're doing things with their life. Okay, so Spirit, what is the advice for Divine Feminine when it comes to this young, mature, sincere man? That's marriage material. What is the advice? The overall advice. You will get a new insight. You will receive a letter or a message. Ace of fucking diamonds. That's ace of fucking pentacles. Hmm. You're going to find something out. What else, spirit? <laughs> See? Yes, you better go with this person. Financial wealth, success, unexpected inheritance, lucky investments, finding money in a wallet with no fucking ID. God damn. Look at that. Now, these is my troll cards, Divine Feminine. Can you see? And I looked up. Went to the to, to the um inter, the tarot industry and found out what each card means in a deck of regular cards. And this all is telling me this young man that's that's after you, that wants you, that has your ex trying to discourage you or call him a youngster. That's money, baby. And he makes money. He don't sit around on his ass and wait for you to make it, baby. He gonna make it. I'm telling you. And your ex is sitting here mad because you drifting away from them. Well, he mad because he was acting immature. You couldn't tell him nothing. Now, because he's older than you, he thinks that you should go by everything he tell you. You're not doing this other person like that. It's equal give and take. This new one is going to equally love you. It's going to be intimate. Oh, shit, Divine Feminine. Little baby. Stop it, little baby. Stop it, little baby. So what's the new insight Divine Feminine will be getting, Holy Spirit? What's the new insight? And Divine Feminine, I forgot, if you um still here, hit that thumbs up button for me. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, if you would like to inbox me for a personal reading, the inbox is pinkscorpionintuitive at gmail.com. If you would like to order one of my motivational candles from me, um, they $5. And a uh, personal reading or a spiritual healing package for $33, then inbox me, okay? Pinkscorpionintuitive at gmail.com. Okay, Spirit, what is the advice? 
what is the advice for divine feminine? No. Little baby. What is the let let go. What is the no? Spirit is saying no to something. It's a warning. Who is this no one? What is this warning for, Spirit? Who is the no for? What is this warning? Spell work. Ouch! Little baby, get your little head down. Where is you trying to go? Somebody's prayers being heard. X, you got to go. Yeah, slide on down. Is this about the... Tell me about the page. Is this about the page, Holy Spirit? Is this about the page? Oh, that's the X. Okay. Let me more spirit. down and he jumped back up. Okay, Spirit said no. Yes, I don't know if, if they talking about your ex, this karmic ex. This could go two ways. When the toil and labor came out in reverse, I know they talking about your ex. Your ex didn't put no no effort or anything into your relationship. And you could be praying or been praying for somebody to come into your life. And this youngster could be your prayers being heard. But there's also some um, deception, some lies and cheat, things hidden. I believe this is your, got to keep bumping his head. I believe this is your karmic's energy. They wanted you to be in despair, but you're not. They may not have lost their job. They getting bad news. It could be an Aquarius energy. And they, they were still dealing with their ex, their baby mama. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was, it was your, this is your ex's energy. They were still secretly dealing with their baby mama. Um, 
you ended it with them. This person could have been stealing from you, using your credit cards and shit. Brought a lot of sadness into your life. Like, they poisonous, like jealousy. Had you feeling like nothing was right. The spirit is saying, don't get, you know, don't get addicted to your sorrows. You left this person and you, you have a new intimate person coming in your life. This person um, is going to, you're going to have the happy life, happy wife, happy family. All of that. Okay. Little baby. Come on now. You got to go. All right, he tell it's time for me to stop the reading. He's telling me I got to go. So I'm going to stop it right here, Divine Feminine. And if this reading resonated with your energy, then please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And drop some comments down in the boxes below. And tell me what you think about it. All right, peace.